Internet has been mightily impressed with Claude 3.5 Sonnet with artifacts. In this video, I'm going to break it down. What is this Claude 3.5 Sonnet with artifacts? We're going to see a couple of demos and prompts with artifacts. I'm going to share the prompts as well. But before we start, Claude is this company from Anthropic and uh, Anthropic is a company that was started by former OpenAI engineers or employees. These OpenAI employees left OpenAI saying that they're disagreeing with certain aspects of OpenAI. Anyways, I'm very happy with that. I'm not, I'm not very paranoid about Claude releasing something, but just wanted to get it out there. So now Claude 3.5 is a new name or a new family that they've created within their existing series. The current series of models that they've got, Claude Haiku, Claude Sonnet and Claude Opus. Claude Opus is their best model and Claude Opus has been extremely expensive. Even though the model has been impressive, the model has been almost unusable because of its rate limits and also the cost. But Claude 3.5 comes into picture where Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is again a very clever naming because they did not say that this is Claude 3.5 Opus because probably they have a bigger release plan. But anyways, Claude 3.5 Sonnet has been released and it has been impressing everybody. Everybody is claiming that this is completely beating OpenAI's ChatGPT GPT 4.0. In fact, the interface is now more intuitive with artifacts. And this is a complete package that is almost revolutionizing the way people expected OpenAI to revolutionize what they thought would the next iteration would be. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is absolutely good in coding. We have seen like a bunch of benchmarks. You can see some benchmarks where 3.5 uh, Sonnet is really good. In fact, on GSM 8K, zero shot, like zero shot, GSM 8K is a math question. And in zero shot, it has scored 96.4, which is insane, just a zero shot. And with also like a chain of thought. And again, there are some other metrics. It has completely crushed all the existing other models. For example, GPQA, it has scored 59.4. MMLU, it has scored 88.7%. And human evil, like the coding one, it has scored 92%, while GPT 4O is 90%. And we all know that the benchmarks are not alone defining anything. We need the vibe. So in this video, we're going to see the vibe. But before that, I would like to show you Claude has introduced something called artifacts, which is a very clever way of doing than what OpenAI did. OpenAI had something called code interpreter, where it is like a sandboxed VM virtual uh, environment. And uh, you could run a code and then it would render the code, do something and then give it to you. So with open AI code interpreter. It is like a terminal, a bash with, you have got a Python environment. This is what open AI did. But what Claude has done is much more intuitive uh, or let's say visually appealing because this is like a sandboxed browser that can run JavaScript. Now, if you know the potential of this thing, most of the things in this world runs on JavaScript. The video in which you, you are watching, like probably if you're watching the web, this one is running on JavaScript or probably the website that you're using is running on JavaScript. Most of the things like you, your life is not going to be without JavaScript. You could be probably without Python somehow either here and there, but JavaScript is almost the internet. So Claude has made sure that they are going to take this to their advantage. So Claude has introduced something called artifacts, which is like the sandboxed environment where you can run a code. The code will automatically render and display. So that means you can uh, display charts, you can display SVG images, and also you can create a full fledged web application within Claude 3.5 Sonnet artifact. So artifact is this interface, the UI UX setup and Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the LLM that is powering this. So this is becoming a very lethal combination that a lot of people have started canceling their chat GPT plus subscription, which I've done already a couple of months back. Um, but people are doing it now and moving to Claude, whether you want to move to Claude subscription or not, I think this video will help you understand certain things. I'm going to start with the demo and I'm going to show you first how to enable artifacts. That's the first thing that you should know. And, uh, if you sign into Claude, Claude.ai, once you go there, you will see your name here, somewhere here. Once you click this name here, you will see that there is a feature preview. Click the feature preview and then you will see artifacts here and you just have to enable artifacts, disable and enable. That's it. Once you enable artifacts, you'll be able to chat with artifacts. I'm going to start with a very simple thing. 
where I've got a prompt that I got from internet. I'm going to use the prompt. The prompt is create a navigation bar with some drop down menus for my online children books. The theme is cute and light and the hero section add this thing and uh, the hero section should be like you are explaining how the hero section should be like if you don't know in web design the hero section is at the top and you have got the book cover so i'm going to copy this entire thing i'm going to go back to claude and once i run this thing as you can see here it is running now it's going to create the code and when it creates the code suddenly you will see that the right side interface pops up and that is exactly your artifacts interface and this is where it writes the code and then it starts rendering and then displaying what what do you actually want and as you can see it is extremely fast as well unlike opus unlike most other heavy models it's not very slow it is fast so one important thing is because this is using javascript libraries if there is a javascript library that it does not have native which means typically you would do npm install rather than that you can use the cdn js okay create a create a simple svg that describes that describes the name one little coder so i'm going to i'm just asking you to create a simple svg so i'm expecting it to have like some uh, nerdish uh, some kind of image okay so it created one little coder uh, can you make it like a human face okay i've said can you make it like a human face I did not specify it clearly. I didn't want a text. I wanted like an avatar. I should have said that at the start. So it 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 tried to create like a human face, as you can see here. Currently, I'm on a free plan, so I'm rate limited, so I cannot go with a lot of things. But I want to quickly end this video by showing you how you can actually create a very simple dashboard within the interface. Create a simple dashboard with sensitivity analysis slider i wanted to say slider so you can see that uh, it is creating a new dashboard and you can see that it is referring a bunch of components here and with this components you can see that it has created the dashboard so the dashboard does not have a lot of components but you can see i can move this and i can do sensitivity analysis so if you want like another slider so let's say I want one more slider for Y axis and also three cards at the top to show some metrics. So what I'm want, what I'm asking is that give me one more slider and also a couple of cards at the start to just play with this like so that it has a dashboard look and uh, just takes like a few seconds and within the few seconds it has it has given me a proper dashboard you can see here i've got the full dashboard here and uh, the full dashboard is available if i want the code i can take the entire code i can just preview this if i want to download i can copy the code and i have the y axis here i have y axis range that i can play with and i have sensitivity here i can play with and it shows average value maximum value maximum minimum value so this is in a nutshell what a cloud artifact can do and again this is a very poor demonstration of what cloud artifact can do it is up to your creativity whatever you want to create and it requires a lot of prompts that is where a paid that is where a paid account would be helpful because now you don't have a lot of limitations in how many messages that you can test let me know in the comment section what do you feel about cloud 3.5 sonnet artifacts see you in another video happy prompting